Hi friends, in this video, let us see the fuzzy sets operation and properties and some problems on it. Actually, we have come already finished the operation and properties part of the from fuzzy sets. Now, let us solve some problems so that we can get good idea on those two topics. The first problem is like this. Let us take two fuzzy sets. A and B. So, as we have already discussed, the representation of fuzzy set is like this. The numerator is the membership value for the denominator. Actually, 2 is the one value on x axis, or we can call it as maybe one value in the fuzzy set. It has some membership value, and that membership value is 1. Similarly, 3, 4, 5. And for B also, there are for 2, the membership value is 0 0.5. For 3, the membership value is 0 0.7. For 4, the membership value is 0 0.2. And for 5, the membership value is 0 0.4. And we can see, we can easily identify for the all other values, the membership value should be 0. If there is, if nothing is written means its, its value is 0. And in this problem, we will consider the values from 1 to 5. So, at 1, the value should be 0. For A, at 1, the value should be 0 and that will be taken as granted. And similarly, for B also, the value for 1 should be 0 and that will be taken as granted. And we will proceed accordingly. Okay. Actually, for the 0.6, the value is also 0, 7 is 0 and for up to infinity, all the values are zeros only but still we will consider here only 5 points 1 to 5 and for point 1 the value is 0 please keep that in mind and try to solve the problem so once this was this is the problem there are two fuzzy sets have been given to us and we need to find out all these things so first one is a bar so complement of a second one is b bar complement of b Third one is A union B and fourth one is A intersection B. Fifth one is A difference B and B difference A. And the final one is we need to solve D Morgan's answers. So once you, once you know how to solve all these things, so the problem from fuzzy sets were completed. So you can solve any problems on these things. Okay. These are the complete set has been given here. Let us first solve this. So, first problem is uh, complement, and uh, this is the formula for the complement mu a bar of x is equal to 1 minus mu a of x. So, first we need to see what is a, and this is a, and uh, these are the points in each and every uh, point. So, first I want to know what is the membership value at point 1. So, the membership value at point 1 is 0. So, I need to subtract that point from 1 so that I can get the membership value of 1 for A bar fuzzy set. Okay. So, now the value is obviously 1 minus 0. So, the value should be 1. So, please see this. This is the answer. And for the second point, the value is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. And for the third point, value is 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. For fourth value, the value is 0 0.3. 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. For fifth value, the value is 0 0.2. So, 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. So, this is the thing. So, here the hidden thing is we need to take the value of 1 as 0. As it was not mentioned there, we need to take. Okay, that is the hidden thing. And all other things are same according to formula. Everything comes. Okay, very simple. Coming to B bit, B bit is B bar. So obviously this is B. So this is B bar. Obviously the at point one the value of B is membership value at point one for B is zero. So it should be one for B bar. If it is for two, its value is 0 0.5. One minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. One minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3. 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8, 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. So simple. 
So according to one formula, we have finished two bits. So the formula is mu a bar of x is equal to 1 minus mu a of x. Very simple. Next, coming to the next point, it is a union b. So this is the formula mu a union b of x is equal to mu a of x or mu b of x. So here we need to see take the maximum of these two. So this is the case. Yes, as a and b are already visible here. So you can see you can take the maximum value of them. From a the value for 2 is 1. From b the value for 2 is 0.5. So the maximum of these two is 1. So that will be coming under a union b. So it should be 1 for 0.3 the value for a is 0.5 and for b is 0.7 so the maximum value is 0.7 so 0.7 by 3 and for 4 the value is 0.3 for a and 0.2 for b so the maximum value is 0. similarly for 5 the maximum value is 0.4 so that has been given here so that is the case so in the next step we need to see Intersection B, A intersection B. For A intersection B, which is, this is the formula mu A intersection B of x is equal to mu A of x and mu B of x. So it, it is the minimum of these two. So this is the intersection. So minimum we need to see the minimum point. Yeah. Minimum means obviously for two the values for A is 1, for B is 0.5. So Minimum of these two is 0 0.5, so I need to take the 0 0.5 here. Coming to 3, the values are 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, so the minimum is 0 0.5. For 4, the minimum is 0 0.2. For 5, the minimum is 0 0.2. So this, this is the answer for A intersection B. Next, so up 4 bits are completed, so for the next solution so the third next e bit is a difference b so a difference b is equal to a intersection b bar so first we will recollect what is a and what is b bar so these are the those two points now intersection means we need to see the minimum of these two for point 1 for point 1 the minimum is for a the value is 0 for b the value is 1 so the minimum is obviously 0 for point 1 similarly for point 2 from a the value is 1 from b the value is 0.5 so the minimum is 0.5 similarly for 3 from a the value is 0.5 from b the value is 0.3 so the minimum is 0.3 similarly for 4 the value from a is 0.3 for so the value from b is 0.8 so the minimum is 0.3. Again from 5 the value from A is 0.2 the value from B is 0.6 so minimum of these two is 0.2. So this is the complete answer. So A difference B means A intersection B bar. We first we need to write A what is A and what is B bar so that our job will be easier. And next Next is B difference A, B intersection A bar. First we need to write B and A bar so that we can easily identify B intersection A bar as this is the minimum of the values from B and A bar. So it's very simple. Next coming to De Morgan's laws. Yeah, De Morgan's laws means this one A union B whole bar is equal to a bar intersection B bar and A bar intersection B whole bar sorry A intersection B whole bar is equal to A bar union B bar simple so let us first see the first point A union B whole bar is equal to A bar intersection B bar so A union B we have already completed this so A union B so this is A union B now the bar means it's 1 minus mu a of x so for point 1 there is no point in a union b so the value should be 0 so 1 minus 0 will be 1 similarly 
for second point the value is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 for third point the value is 0 0.7 it should be 0 0.3 and for fourth point the value is 0 0.3 so 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 for fifth point the value is 0 0.4 so 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6 so this is the value a union b whole bar now let us see a bar intersection b bar means what will happen first i need to take a bar and b bar now intersection so a bar intersection b bar is minimum of these two points so the minimum of these two points is like this and you can see the red colored answers and those two are exactly same so now i can say that hence D Morgan's last first law is proved. Okay. Next, coming to second law. Yeah, second law is like this, so we can easily trace out. First, we need to find out A intersection B and then A intersection B bar, and we will get one answer. Then we will proceed with A bar and B bar, A bar union B bar. See first. Oh. <laughs> yeah, A intersection B. So this is A intersection B bar. So obviously 1 minus mu of A intersection B of X. So A bar B bar. So A bar union B bar. You can see the red color ones. You can compare them. So they are equal. So hence I can say that these two, the D Morgan second law of D Morgan's class is proved. So this is the one of the problems in fuzzy sets let us move on to other problem yeah this is a problem actually this is a real problem let us first see this a technology has to be implemented for a numerical processor and computation through throughput is directly related to clock speed okay assume that all the implementations will be in the same family okay cmos family you are considering whether the design should be implemented using MSI, FPGA, MCM. Then define the, the universe of potential clock frequencies 1, 10, 20, 40, 80, 100 and these things as fuzzy sets clock, clock frequencies that should be implemented in each of these technologies where the following table defines their membership values. Actually, the membership values have been defined in the table. Yeah, here three things are there and all clock frequencies are the denominator things and all other things are numerator things. So, here we need to find out, we need to write three things, three fuzzy sets by using this data. First, we need to represent the three sets and yeah, the three sets are nomenclature as M, F, and C, and we need to find uh, these things. Okay, simple question. So, first from this table, we need to identify the things. So, here you can see for point for clock frequency 1, MSI is, is already named as M, and that value will be 1. 1 is the membership value. Similarly, for 20, it's 0 0.7. From for 40, it's 0.4. For 60 it's 0, 80 is 0 and for 100 also it's 0. So let us see how they, yeah this is for M. For, for, for frequency 1 its value is 1. For 20 it's 0 0.7. For 40 it's 0 0.4. 60 is 0, 80 is 0 and 100 also 0. That's all. Simply so this is from the second table with the first column and the third column. And this is with the first column and the fourth column. Simple. Once these are defined, then all these things are very easy. According to formula, you can go ahead. Okay. That is the formula. So, you can go ahead with M union F. Similarly, intersection. Okay. This is M bar and this is F bar. Very simple. Next. This is C intersection F bar. This is M, interse M intersection C whole bar. So, very simple as we have already discussed this. So, no need to discuss again. Thank you very much for your subscriptions.